Let's briefly take a look at how you can set up the page layout. Not only how you can, but how you need to set up your page layout at the beginning of your document creation and not waiting until the end of your document creation. So here's a Word document that I've already been working on. And what you'll notice on this is if I do make some changes to it after the fact, it might be too late and I'll have to spend a lot of time reinventing the wheel. So let's take a look. In Page Layout, I want to look at margins, orientation, and size. What I have created, I've created a document for 8.5 by 11. If I go in and change the size, then what's going to happen is all my page breaks and the way I have things set up, they could be really, really messed up because the page changes. So for instance, if I decide that I need a tabloid, 11 by 17 and I click on tabloid, whoa, look what just happened to my document. It's a much larger piece of paper, but what I created now doesn't exactly fit the way it once did. And there's some readjusting and rearranging that I'm going to have to do. So if this truly is the size of paper I want, start your document with this size of paper and design it for this size of paper. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo. Whew, I don't want to mess things up like that. Back into size. There are many, many choices here for size. So probably the size you need is going to be available. But if by chance it's not, you can click on more paper sizes. And then here you can determine your own width and your own height for your document. I'm happy, remember, with what I've got. So I'm going to choose Cancel. You also have Orientation. Now you can see that my orientation is Portrait. And that simply means that the short piece of paper is on the top. But if I switch to Landscape, now the short side of the paper is on the left edge. And again, look what happened to my document. I had this set up. I had this designed for portrait orientation. Some of it looks fine when I switch to landscape. Yeah, look at this page. That doesn't look so great. My first page doesn't look so great. So once again, illustrating that you definitely want to set the page layout at the beginning of your document creation not when you're almost done. So let me put my orientation back to portrait. Oh yeah, much, much better. And then the last one is margins. What would you like for your margins to be on your paper? And I've chosen one inch all the way around, but you can choose other choices that are available. For instance, half inch, or you have the moderate, or you have the wide. Or you can come down here to the bottom and you can choose custom margins. And in this feature, you're able to set the margins exactly the way you'd like them. Now the gutter is the part of the page that nothing is printed on. So popular use for gutter is when you have a booklet. So you would add the gutter in and then you tell the gutter where you would like for it to be. But remember, it's the area that nothing will print on. That looks familiar, doesn't it? There's your portrait and your landscape. You can do that here. You also have multiple pages. But before I click this, check out the preview. I just have a solid piece of paper with even margins all the way around. But if I drop this down and I say I want mirror margins, now I'm going to have two separate pieces of paper. And a mirror margin simply means what I do on one page will mirror as if the pages were looking at each other. So with a mirror margin, if I put the page number in the top right hand corner, then on the right page it would be top right hand corner, but on the left page it would be top left hand corner because they would mirror one another. Also, you have two pages per sheet, which simply puts literally page one and page two on one piece of paper. And so it'll just scrunch everything down and make it smaller. Or you have book fold. And the book fold, look at the picture. The book fold is very much like mirror margins, but mirror margins, you have two pieces of paper. And also look what my choice did. It switched that to landscape. Let me put that back to portrait. OK, so mirror margins, there's space in here. But when you say book fold, now the book fold says, OK, I'm going to take this piece of paper and fold it at the center. And so now one page, one page is really a half of a sheet of paper, which is going to make a big, big difference. And watch what happens when I put a gutter in here. See, that's the part that wouldn't get printed on. And then you have sheets per booklet, and you decide how many sheets are going to be in your booklet. The benefit of that is when you print it, it prints it properly for um, creating the bends and the folds in there. So again, your page setup needs to be done, as you can see, at the beginning of your document design. So as you're working with your document, the elements and the pieces fit properly. Because watch what happens when I choose this. It's going to mess things up. And I say, OK. 
Ooh, look at that first page and the second page. Let me zoom in here so you can see a bit better. It just really changed the way everything looks because it's trying to fit. And look, my graphics, they aren't even going to fit on the page. And the page breaks are completely different than what I had designed. So again, this illustrates set up margins, orientation, and size at the beginning of your document creation or as soon as you can think about it because you will have to go back and rearrange and reevaluate. Ooh, let's hit undo because really that made a disaster happen. Let's see if this looks good now. Yep, now it's back to the way that I want it because what I did when I started this document, I made sure my margins, my orientation, and my size were set up. So my page setup was exactly the way I wanted it to be. And my friends, that's also what you're definitely going to want to do with every document that you ever create.